Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a very short intro and a very short video actually. This is not a tutorial by any means, this is just me taking you along for the ride. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take the Synology DS923 Plus CPU for a test and more specifically for a virtualization test. I want to try to turn on as many virtual machines as I can and I want to see how the CPU handles the load. The reason I'm going to do this video is because unlike the DS920 Plus, the DS923 Plus has an AMD Ryzen CPU which is fast, it's beefy, it's snappy, it's great, but it only has two cores, four threads. So what you're going to see me doing this test, I'm going to turn on virtual machines one after the other, I'm not going to turn them all at once, my goal is not to hit the CPU as hard as I can, I'm going to turn virtual machines one after the other, and when I reach my virtual machine's limit, I want to see how the CPU handles the load. Will it just crash and reach 99% utilization? Or maybe it wouldn't even break a sweat? If you want to know the answer, follow me. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and as you can see in Virtual Machine Manager I have already prepared several virtual machines. Now I have created some Ubuntu server devices in virtual machines without any desktop infrastructure, just plain old CLI uh, Ubuntu machine with one CPU and between two and four gigs of RAM. I am aiming for the highest density that I can, this is why I gave uh, all the virtual machines just one CPU. I've already prepared also a Windows Server Core virtual machines. Now these are a lot more uh, CPU intensive than the Ubuntu one, so I am going to give them uh, two CPU cores to each machine. But again, I'm going to start with the Ubuntu ones because I want to aim for the highest density. I'm going to power them on one by one. I want to give each virtual machine some time uh, to load because the Buddha process is the most CPU intensive. And then I'm going to uh, power on the second one, the third one, and uh, so on and so forth. And I'm going to keep an eye on my CPU usage just so we'll see what's going on with the CPU. So let's start with the first virtual machine. Let's go ahead and power it on. Now I am going to speed up this process and then I'm going to uh, power on the second one and the third one and the fourth one and let's see what's going on. Alright guys, I'm going to power on the second virtual machine. Alright, looks like the Buddha process is finished. I'm going to power on the third one. Up until now, actually, the CPU is handling all the virtual machines, looks like, without breaking a sweat. Alright, let me go ahead and even start the fourth one. Now, these virtual machines are intentionally not connected to network, because I didn't want any CPU horsepower going into, I don't know, updates or etc. I want the virtual machines to just run plainly, cleanly. Alright, we are looking at around 16% CPU utilizations, uh, utilization, sorry, four virtual machines already powered on. Looks like the CPU is really not even breaking the sweat. Let's go ahead and power on another virtual machine. We are now at five Ubuntu virtual machines powered on. Alright, I'm going to even start on the six virtual machine. Alright, so all six Ubuntu virtual machines are now up and running and completed their boot process. Six virtual machines running, we are looking at 8%, 10%, sometimes 12% CPU utilization. This CPU is not breaking a sweat for these virtual machines. Let's see if I can even power on another one, even though I, I think that I'm going to get an error message that, error message that there are not enough cores to power on the virtual machine. Let's try. All 
All right, so that's the seventh virtual machine. Let's give it some more time. Again, even with this seventh virtual machine not even completing the Buddha process, we're looking at almost, almost 5%, 10% fluctuating of CPU utilization. This CPU is not breaking the sweat, it's, it's phenomenal. Let me go ahead and do something that is a little bit more CPU intensive. Let me try to power on a Windows Server Core virtual machine. Not sure I have enough cores for that. All right, so we are now looking at seven Ubuntu virtual machine and one Windows Server Core virtual machine. The server core is now in its boot up process. CPU is at 40%, but again, it's probably going to go down once the win Windows Server virtual machine will finish up its uh, boot up process. Let's see how we are doing with memory. Now I am, I have upgraded my memory to 32 gigs. Let's see what's our memory usage. We are looking at 66% utilization. We have plenty more RAM to be used. CPU still 40%. Let's see what's going on with the virtual machine. Okay, looks like it's finished its boot up process. Let's see if CPU utilization come, is going to come down. All right, so clearly the, the Windows Server Core is a lot more CPU intensive. We are looking at 30, around 30% 30 utilization, which is for running seven Ubuntu Virtual Machine uh, machines and one Windows Server Core is not so much. We are uh, growing in density. Let's try to power on another one, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to get an error message. Yeah, it's not. A, it doesn't have enough cores. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off two uh, Ubuntu virtual machines and then try to power on another Windows Core, a Windows Server Core virtual machine. So right now we are looking at one, two, three, four, five Windows uh, Ubuntu servers virtual machine, one Windows Server Core with single CPU core and let's try to power on another one with two CPU cores and let's see how it handles that all right so now currently the CPU is breaking a sweat we have reached 80 percent but again remember that the two CPU cores dedicated to a, a Windows Server core is in its boot up process which is the most CPU intensive process of the virtual machine it it's it's probably going to come down a little bit. All right, guys, so there you have it. We are looking at between 40 to 50% CPU utilization for five virtual machines, Ubuntu virtual machines, two Windows Server Core virtual machines. Now, clearly, if you're running, if you're looking to run Ubuntu or Linux virtual machines, you can go up in density without the CPU even breaking a sweat. If you're looking to run Windows virtual machines or Windows Server virtual machines, the CPU is probably going to stress itself a little bit more. But even so, we are not looking at the CPU close to its utilization limits. We still have plenty more CPU for other tasks. I hope this was interesting for you to watch. It was for me. I did want to do this test uh, for several time, for several uh, months now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.